just learned how to talk in these videos, so I'm going to start with my Illuminizing Primer. This is my favorite primer. It's super glowy and you can put it under your foundation or tinted moisturizer, which is what I'm using. It's my favorite. I prefer it over the foundation, personally. Now I'm going in with my eye brightener and I enjoy this product so much. It is so soothing and very light, blends well, and I like how it goes on before or after my concealer. I'm proud of my concealer. It's very um, creamy, decent coverage, but you could apply more and more um, in the places you wish. I wanted to test out one of my products. This is the brightener in the deeper shade. I wanted to feel the formula as a bronzer. So every now and then I like to test things out to see how they blend together, how it works. This is my original bronzing stick and I'm going in for the more, I suppose, specific areas. Here's me pretending to contour um, when I don't really get it and now my concealer is going to be set and looks weird but cool anyway i'm gonna spray and let this all melt together which is kind of looking all right i guess don't know what that is selena but here is the loose powder i i love our powder because it doesn't kind of leave this super white under eye you can put as much as you want and it will still kind of have a soft but gentle coverage i'm going to go in with a darker shade to give a more bronzing effect that was new i never tried that i'm going to go in with my brows use this little contraption to brush my brows up get them in place i loved creating this product because i thought it would be so just neat and easy. Plus, you don't have to be super precise. You can kind of just blend in to the areas that you want, which is fun. My favorite part. You guys have changed my life with my blush. I've had so much fun creating these and these formulas have been really wonderful, but the biggest reward is watching how beautiful and wonderful all of you are when you try it in different ways and different um, colors together. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. This is the first highlighter that we came out with. It's a light cream, so it's not super thick. It leaves a little shiny effect. Then we decided to bake the formula. No, a little goes a long way, so it's it's very um, reflective, but in a gentle way, I suppose, is how I would put it. And um, what I like about it is that from the front, you can't see it, but from the side, you can. I've seen some people try the highlighter as um, kind of a shadow or an eye brightener, and I love that. Then I'm gonna try the sh well, I almost broke it. I thought I did, but it was fine. I thought it was cute, I know, I'm a loser. Now I'm going to, well, I gotta be honest, I'm horrible, horrible at eyeshadow. I don't know what I'm doing. I just do things that I feel look pretty on me. I don't know if it works, but anyway, my mascara. Very easy to use, and very easy to wear all day, doesn't really fall. Going in for one more powder, wiping my lips, and I'm gonna try a darker shade in my lip liner. I haven't done this before, but I'm kinda gonna do the whole darker outer and then go in a little bit from the sides. The formula for the liners are really yummy. Yes, I will be using the blushes again in a lighter shade. Put it around the middle. See if that will look pretty, I guess. And that's about it. 
Thank you guys so much for all of your love for Rare Beauty. We're so grateful. I am the happiest ever. Oh, she's spraying, so, and she's gonna do some of this. <laughs> I don't know, but I love you guys so much. Thank you. Bye.